Hey guys, we're here for another race winner video. This time we will open up Ian Douglas' car that won not only the sprint race on Saturday, but the team enduro on Sunday, joining, joined by Herman James. But check this out. We're going to open up. Let's get to the chase and break it down. Okay, guys, here we have the big winner of the weekend. Uh, Ian Douglas drove this for... Uh, for, to, to classify him first for the sprint race and won the final. Uh, then they, uh, he was joined by Herman James to race on Sunday for the Enduro, and they also won the classification and won the final. Uh, it was a very close race, if you guys want to watch it on our YouTube video. That was the most spectacular race that we had here at the store so far. Um, they were chasing, they were, they were being chased by, by the, the Bazas brothers, uh, Ivan and Ben Bernard from Scale Auto. And in the last minute, a lot of things happened. So they got the win. This is the car. And let's start to open up. So just to start, uh, you can see that compared to the Christmas Enduro car, Ian is not using um, decals anymore. He's using stickers. So those guys here are stickers. Even the yellow little lanes in the, the, the number two. This number two is kind of nostalgic to me because I think it's a Parma sticker. And when I start to race a lot of cars back in the 90s, the, you can you can get the the whole uh, sheet of those stickers, pink, kind of pinky reddish stickers. And I have, and that's why I started to race number six, because you can use also the nine as a six, so my my sheet will last longer. Uh, <laughs> so the car was signed after the race uh, by Ivan from Scale Auto Team. And on the other side, you have BB, Bernard Bazas. Uh, Ian gave him this car still hot from the track. Uh, I think he likes the videos and I think he's uh, very pleased to share his uh, technical stuff and the way that he set up the car. So let's go for the car. Uh, just right now, you can see that sits, the body sits perfectly, perfectly on the chassis. So I cannot get better than that. It's completely afloat. Uh, it's not touching anything. You can hear any noises and he, it moves sideways and it moves back and forth. This is the this is ten of ten on fitting a fitting a body to the car. Uh, <clears throat> here on the height, you can see that the front wheels they touch, the rear the rear wheels are not that high. I think they're uh, they're less than one millimeter, and the whole car uh, sits at stance. So the whole car has some some height to the floor, uh, to the ground. Um, I believe, uh, I don't know if the camera can get closer, but it's kind of a linear between the front, the distance on the rear and the distance on the front. So this is a big tip, uh, make the car linear. If you if you want to put the, the, if you want more grip, you can put the, 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 the front of the car a little higher. So you make uh, the front wheels lower, that brings weight to the back and you have more grip. But if you don't need much grip, if you have enough grip from the tires, you make linear or you make the front lower. The problem with making the front lower is that you can you might scrape scrap the, 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 the track and then you lose time. So right now he has literally, this is linear, ground and front. Um, great thing here. So talking about the float of the body, perfect. Uh, when you turn around, you can see you have all metric screws besides the body screws. The body screws he's using uh, I believe the Sliding Plus, uh, Sliding Plus screws, let me open up, uh, yes, um, so yes, it's the 6 millimeter screw for the body, and as you can see, there's a little distance without any thread, that's where you have the body moving, so you can turn it on all the way up, and you still have some movement, so this is a, it's a very good uh, screw for the body, I think 90% of the field were using it. The, scale, the sliding plus screw set screw six millimeters m2.2 uh, sometimes it's a little bit too thick for the body so you can have like a little drill bit and open up a little bit the the holes here uh just a little bit here we go <laughs> uh oh my god <laughs> there's a little surprise id loves mc i think it stands for Ian Douglas loves Marco Carvalho. Okay, Ian, I love you too. Thank you very much. So he kind of knew that he was, was going to win the race. Oh, maybe he put this after the, the sprint race when he won because he knew that I'm going to ask for the car to review. 
<laughs> pretty funny. So here we have the car. As you can see, they used a lot of oil. Uh, fronts, still like a little wet in the back. Both bushings here have more because here's where the, the gear stands. There is a little lightning here, uh, which is legal. Uh, because here's where you have your motor and sometimes it touches. It's just not a pro problem from, 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 from the design, but sometimes you, you need a little room here. That's perfectly normal and, uh, and uh, legal. Another thing that I noticed, this uh, little spacer here, I just noticed it was on the jig. I don't know where it came from. It might have came from, from the chassis. So they have some sort of a dampener between the chassis and the body. Uh, sorry, Ian, I don't know where it, it came from. So find another one and put this car together. Um, so let's talk a little bit about, more about the body. The body was a white kit, uh, custom painted, uh, number two from Parma. We still have the lane stickers here. As you can see, uh, he did not do a good job on the clear coat. So the paint is damaged where he was sitting the the lane stickers. Uh, this is uh, Electric Dreams lane sticker. Um, so other than that, it's a white kit. He did the trick again to leave the body a little loose. So as you can see, the front, I don't know if it's broken. I don't believe it's broken. So the front of the driver is completely loose. And then you have this kind of a torsion, which is beneficial for your car. Of course, in the back, everything is on in place because if it's not, you'll be touching the gearing and the, the motor. So this might be a trick from me. Uh, this might happen during the race, but the fact is this car finished the race very fast. And this is a good thing right here. Uh, of course, this is a kind of a gray rule. I'm putting together the rule book for 2023. And I believe that we need to have this glued out the way in. Uh, so, okay, this is the body. Very nice driver over there too. Nice helmet. I can't identify, it's kind of a purple, maybe it's a Lewis Hamilton helmet, I don't know. Anyway, this is the body, pretty light. Um, he didn't, he used some sort of a white, but he concentrated the paint in the center. You have like the uh, stickers here, the Parma sticker, another number two sticker here. Pretty nice looking, uh, was only one of three or four custom cars that we have at the sprint race, uh, which makes your car unique and uh, Pretty nice job. So let's go for the car. Um, here, um, nothing much, to be honest. Um, you have the Scale Auto 21.4, uh, 21.5 motor that was mandatory for this race. Uh, you have NSR front wheels with uh, some sort of a zero grip tires, but those tires are also coated. So there's some silicone coating or just like nail polishing coating around it, which makes this literally zero, zero grip. It's very, almost nothing. Um, I believe this tire is a little bit different than this one. This one seems wider. It might be something that just came out uh, on the truer like that. Uh, but those are probably, um, as far as I can see, they're slotted PA19 tires on NSR wheels. Uh, I believe he's using a hollow axle here in front. Let me take a look. Yes, so this is a 55 millimeter NSR um, hollow axle, which is the choice of most of the racers for the front. Of course, you don't need weight in the front, especially if it's spinning, if it's rotating. As you can see, it's pretty free here. Pretty good job here, Ian. Uh, other than that, he has NSR wires. Uh, you really don't think you don't need any, any, anything more thick than this. So if you think, th if you're thinking about using 124 scale TQ or even the NSR um, uh, wire, you don't need it. This is, this is enough. Uh, it saves you time, gives you flexibility. So this is the, the, the best wire we have around it. And, um, most of the racers choose the NSR wire as well. I'm sure that Scale Auto and Slotted, they have options. Uh, this is the most popular one. You really don't need anything thicker than this. It's not gonna give you more power or anything. So keep up with the lightness and the flexibility. So here we have the guides. The guide, it's a Slot Invasion, um, slot invasion guide. 
It's very well set up. As you can see, when the car crashes, the guide comes back straight back to straight line. So makes the, the life of the marshal easier. Uh, one thing that I don't like is that there is a lot of room here on both sides. You can see that that goes a little bit in and out. There's a lot of space here. I don't know if you can catch this. Uh, usually you need to have this very well kind of close to the bottom of the chassis, but who I am to tell? The guy won both races on the weekend. So um, you have the um, the, po the pod, the, the motor pod. It's one, as you can see, that's a very nice feature from Scale Auto. You have some sort of a clock here. Uh, I don't know if the camera can catch this. Um, maybe here. So this one is pointing one to one, which means this is a one millimeter offset pod. You, Scale Auto provides you the the... 075, 05, and 025 options. W what does that mean? Does it mean that your car can be lowered to the ground? So the one millimeter is the most that gives you, is the difference between the, the motor and the axle. So maybe you can see here, this is one millimeter off of the axle. Um, he, he, that's, that was his option. Uh, the car was running pretty good. Also here, um, he has one little disc as a weight glue it to the pod this is provided by professor motor so you can see here there's one weight in the middle and that's it for weights there's no no other weight on this car um here you have some sort of a dampener which is not in the body so there's a little plastic here uh, i think that to help facilitate the 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 the, 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 the body movement uh, this is another uh, um, feature from of the scale auto chassis you have those screws here. I'm not going to mess with the screws, but those are M3 screws, if, I, if, I, if I'm not wrong. And what they do is, like, you can raise it, and then they're going to touch the body right here. So you don't have a massive part of the body touching the chassis. You just have those just four points, plus the two points where you have the screws. And then facilitates the, that body movement that was perfect before we disassembled the car. So that's a very nice feature. I think they have on the Thunder slots too, and some NSR they have for the front wings and the back wings. So that's a very cool feature. Um, again, let's see the let's see the gear ratio that they were using. So here on the tires, um, before we go for the gear ratio, gear ratio they're using uh, the AS20 short 20 gray scale auto tires that were mandatory for this race. So there was a lot of problem of people trying to throw those. Uh, Todd Ullery was the guy who kind of mastered it, and he started giving tips. Ian was one that called Todd to get, get some tips on how to do those tires. And right away, as soon as he got to the track, the tires were fu functioning and working. This is beautiful, very well polished. Uh, lots of grip for those. That's a very good choice, the short 20 for our track. And that was a new product from Scale Auto. I met Ivan uh, back in... December, uh, at the but it, back in January or actually February in Germany, and there was a new project product, and we decided to run this race with this, so everybody can test it. Um, here you have this, if I'm not mistaken, it is a NSR pinion, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, fifteen pinion, and the gear uh, that's going to be hard to tell to count, but let's let's try it. Let's try it right here. Let's take it off. Lots of oil. You see how black it is? Lots of oil. So the gear is, uh, let me see. One second, guys. Let's, let's do a jump cut. So that's a 25, 15, 25. That was the gear ratio chosen by them. Um, back to the tires. The tires are glued. Um, it's a NSR wheel. Uh, NSR lighted wheel. There's holes in the middle too. He, they're not using any sort of a sponge around it. So it's an air system wheel that you can see that flat. You can pu push it down here. So that's an NSR air system 16 or 15.8 wheel using the Scale Auto Short 20 tires. Uh, they have 15, 25, 15, 26 gear ratio. Uh, a lot of oil here. I'm going to Mess it up with my hands here. There are three spacers. Uh, they use, they don't have bearings here because the scale auto pause, they use the spherical uh, bushings. 
uh, there's no room okay there's a little room here but that's kind of perfect it spins perfectly they have a color here uh, and another spacer so this color doesn't touch the plastic uh, usually you have this color right here you see that scale auto has this, uh, this is another great feature that you can put a color here so instead of holding there you hold here uh, putting the the, 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 the the weight a little bit in the, in the middle, but Ian chose to put it on the other side, which is fine. Uh, there's, an, uh, there's a hollow uh, NSR 55 millimeter axle here too. Spinning great, great car. Uh, what else I can tell you about this? Uh, let's put together while I think. Um, 1525, pretty low ratio. Uh, this car broke the, the track record uh, with a very fast lap around the five sixes. Everybody was trying to break six and Ian uh, did a pole position with five seven. <laughs> and then during the race, he did a five six. Uh, incredible stuff. So this car, it is the benchmark for us. If you want to set up a scale auto car, uh, there was nothing better between 24 cars plus 11 on the Neuro. Uh, there is nothing better this weekend than this guy here. Um, again, no weights, um, linear. Um, a line between front and rear. Uh, there is no spacers below the guide. The guide is a lot of, is a lot in plus. He's using all metric screws. Uh, I there's a little tape here, which I don't believe it's a weight. There's some sort of resin here that he put it. Uh, yes, there is some weight here. There is like a bar of tungsten in the back, as I can see right now. So there is just this piece of weight here. Uh, and this piece of weight here. There is no weight on the sides of the pod or anything else. Um, car sits pretty good. Fast as hell. Won two races in a weekend. There is nothing you can tell. You can say bad about this. Uh, perfect stance. Okay, the pod has some, some movement. Uh, back and front and side to side. Uh, you can see it's perfect too. Here, you can see it better. So using metric skills, all metric screws all around, you have this perfect movement. There's no movement this way. There's no movement this way, just side sideways, which is perfect for this kind of track that there is a lot of grip, which is something that brings me to the second place car. Uh, uh, tuned by Todd Ullery and drove, driven by Ivan and Bernard Bazas. This is the car that came in second on the Enduro. Uh, and if you see the pod, it's another approach. So I have this, the, the front ones are completely stuck and the back moves a little just to give some room, but that's it. It's a completely different approach. Those cars were very similar by the end of the race. The um, Ian's car was a little bit faster, but uh, they came together. They came, they came very close to this race. So uh, that's another approach. That's another something that you can also do. But if I was doing something uh, to myself, I'm probably going to have this approach right here, which is like this perfect movement uh, side to side, front and back. Some people don't like the side to side, but this might can help you to cu your car to turn this way. So this is the approach that I like the most. Um, they're also using uh, the tin colored uh, uh, braids, which was a bad choice for a track. I remember people coming with almost no braids after half of them in the row and have to change braids. And if you're doing the, 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 the copper ones, uh, they're, look, they're working fine. This is after a uh, four hour race. Look at this, still perfect. Of course, the negative pose a little bit in a worse con condition, but uh, the thin coated ones are not very well. Anyway, this is the car. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Ian. Congratulations, Herman. Uh, perfect, perfect car. Uh, what can I say? Two times winner. So there we go. Oh, let me do one thing to finish here. Let's put a little heart here. Love you too. All right, Ian. Thank you very much for bringing the car. I'm shipping back to you. Hope to see you in the next big race. Uh, thank you very much.